The Reconquest of Spain. The reconquest of Muslim-ruled Spain by the Spanish began in the 1100s. The country was fully reunited 300 years later under Ferdinand and Isabella. After the fall of the Roman Empire, Spain had been ruled by Visigoths for 300 years. Then came the invading Berbers, Moors, from the northern Africa in 711. Establishing a Muslim caliphate which lasted for seven, from 756 until 1031. At this time, Christians in the north of Spain started pushing southward. They started the Reconquista, also known as the Reconquest, which by 1235 had limited the Muslims to Granada in the south of the country. However, Catholic Spain was divided into several countries, Leon, Castile, Navarre, and Aragon. In the 1400s, Leon had joined Castile, making Castile and Aragon the two smallest, or the two largest, sorry. The first step towards finally unifying Spain was made in 1469 when Ferdinand, heir to Aragon, married Isabella of Castile. When the king of Castile died in 1474, Isabella and Ferdinand succeeded him as joint rulers of his kingdom. Five years later, Ferdinand inherited Aragon and made Isabella joint ruler of Aragon as well. Uh, the Spanish Inquisition. Many Muslims and Jews had converted to Christianity and stayed in Spain, making a great contribution to its culture. But their success was resented. The king and queen decided that all non-Christians should leave Spain. They wanted to find those who had converted but still followed the old religion secretly. Spain used religion as a political weapon. The Pope gave permission for an inquisition, a court that investigated heresy. Uh, but the Spanish misused the power and imprisoned, tortured, and killed thousands of people. Uh, the reunification of Spain. In 1492, 14 years after the Spanish Inquisition began, Moorish Granada was recaptured by Aragon and Castile. Many Muslims and Jews were expelled or forcibly converted. As many as 200,000 Jews left the country. This persecution resulted in many skilled and able people moving to France, Germany, and the Ottoman Empire. In the same year, Ferdinand de Sabella sponsored the voyage of Christopher Columbus. They were seeking a sea route to India and China, but instead found the Americas. This began a period of Spanish conquest that brought about the downfall of the Aztecs, Maya, and Inca. Ferdinand and Isabella had five daughters, one of whom, Catherine of Aragon, married Henry VIII of England, but Ferdinand and Isabella had no son, and descent passed uh, to their daughter, uh, Joanna the Mad. When Isabella died in 1504, Ferdinand acted as regent for the young Joanna. In 1515, Navarre joined Castile and Ferdinand became the king of the United Spain. Joanna's son, Charles V, eventually became the Habsburg Emperor, the most powerful ruler in Europe. Under his rule, Spain experienced its golden age.